Yes, I know, we're back at the sisters, and yes, I know you guys are absolutely sick of it. Absolutely sick of it, I feel ya. I'm actually getting quite sick of it myself. But, take a look here, I am level 31, I made it out of the hell level. And now the XP's picked up again, now that I'm out of the hell level. Um, this level is going to be half as much <clears throat> as the as the past one, and I did the past one here, so that feels good. Um, I am bound at the Druid Ring. Wait, what am I doing? Oh wait, I'm supposed to fear. I am bound at the Druid Ring in Butcher Block, so I can watch the Discord. Oh shoot, it didn't land. I wasn't paying attention. This is what happens when I hit record. Where's she going? Cool. Back and forth. here I am bound at the druid ring <clears throat> and uh, well let's get her down and so I will watch the discord I'll see when the boat is about 10 minutes out from butcher block when it's like 10 minutes out from butcher block and I'm pretty full I will gate, which will bring me right to the vendor. I will sell everything. I will run back to the the uh, dock, and I will get myself back to the island. So both of these uh, sisters are still blue to me. So they, one of them's 24, one of them's 25. So <clears throat> the lower level 24 one has not greened out yet. Which means we are perfectly fine where we are. When is it going to green out? I don't remember, actually. Whoops, I was supposed to fear there. Pet is tanking like a beast, so it doesn't matter. When is it going to green out? That is a good question. Uh, maybe next level one of them will turn green. If not, the level after that. I think it's around 33 when one of them turns green. Whoops, I had some sort of sound playing in the background. I had to turn that down. I'm just gonna let him fight it out. She's dead. So, yeah, I know. Everybody, in ooh, double words. Anything good? Kazakhthul again. Double Kazakhthul. Okay. So my research is up to 70 on, on this, on this, um, <coughs> character. Um, If you notice here, we have a lot of money on us. I've been getting rid of the copper, silver, and gold by buying and reselling like a silver earring at the vendor. Uh, you lose like five gold each time you do it, but you turn everything into platinum. Um, so it's pretty nice. Gets rid of the weight uh, when it starts filling up. Now, we can see that this uh, this XP here that I have so far, I think that's like three sisters. That's it. Two, like one spawn, and then a half, because I had deemed in the middle. It's moving actually really fast again now that I'm out of that level 30 hell level. So I just can't see myself not sitting here. Like, check out my platinum. I'm at 608 platinum. Um. You know, if I fill up all my bags, I got some words and stuff clogging up. I'm actually out of bone chips. I need to get, because <laughs> every time I leave, I have to resummon my pet. So I need to find a dwarf skeleton when I go over there and kill it. I need to give myself an extra couple minutes to try to find a dwarf skeleton or maybe more than one. Just to make sure I get bone chips so I can get back over here and summon a pet. Um, I've been out for a long time. I haven't been back to the mainland in a while. And so I kind of like blew through my bone chips. So I got to restock. Uh, but I would like to sit here and get myself over a thousand platinum. I got spells to buy. I got research spells to buy. Yeah, I got my research up to 70. But, uh, you know, that's only helping me sell them, I guess, for money. Use the words that I'm, that are dropping. Opposed to just, like, wasting them. But I can't actually make anything useful to myself yet. 
but I'll have it. So if anybody makes a necro, you know, like I'll be able to to make stuff out of. Who's that? I'll be able to make stuff out of, uh, you know, words for him and all of that. Anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, wait for this to spawn, and we'll see you in a sec. So I'm thinking there's a like a no warlock or no warlock. I mean, no, not quite. We're still too low level for, for that. Ah, uh, I'm having brain farts all over the place. Um, <clears throat> there is a gnome necro, and it appears he wants this spot. So when I have to go sell, I'm gonna lose my spot basically. Dang, what is going on? Getting a lot of resists lately. I hope she comes back this way, otherwise this isn't going to land. Hmm. Come on. That got annoying real fast. I got to pay attention to resists. I haven't gotten resistance so long and then I got it back to back. My pet's taking a beating. And I'm fearing her right by the shore, so she's probably gonna... I don't know, I'm gonna nuke her though. getting heavy but he's just hanging out doing that sister so as soon as I bail he's gonna take the camp um, so this might be pretty dang short which I guess is fine because it's a lot of the same I mean, it's fine for the video, but I want to, uh, I want to level. I want to get this, um, Necro, like, up there. Actually, I want to bring her back. And the XP is moving now. Like it would be a pretty pretty fast level. <laughs> See what it looks like after this kill. And again, it's not like the most, you know, it's not like the fastest XP, but just the sheer amount of, of platinum that we get is undeniable. More Kazakhthul, I got Kazakhthul on my ears. So we're going to have to sit here again. Um, um, oh, there it is. We're going to have to sit here again uh, for a while until we see the spawns and we can met up. But, um, well, hmm. We'll catch the boat on its next pass. Its next pass is going to be about 40 minutes from now. So I'm going to do this for the next 40 minutes. Um, well, mm, yeah, it's next pass is going to be about 40 minutes, but we're going to want to leave about 10 minutes early. So I would say about 30 minutes from now, I will gate. Uh, so we should get another five spawns in. And um, and then my, by that time, my bags, you know, will be full. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. And then we'll gate, uh, we'll find a Dwarven Skeleton, we'll sell off, and then we'll come back and see if we lost our spot. And then, um, if we did, you know, I might just head out of here and uh, see what's next. Okay, so we're going to try to time this out. 
We're gonna try to time the thing. We're probably gonna lose our camp. But we're gonna do it anyways, right? We're gonna do it for science and all that. Or just to show it, we haven't done it yet. So the boat is like 10 minutes out. But we still need to kill these sisters. So we're gonna kill the sisters. The only twist that shouldn't be happening, that is happening, is that I'm out of bone chips. So I need to kill a skeleton while we're there. <clears throat> and now I don't have to kill the skeleton while we're there. There are skeletons in this zone, but yeah, no, we gotta kill a skeleton while we're there. And the other twist is that we're giving ourselves less than 10 minutes, so it's going to be close. Like, obviously, I should be able to sell and run to the dock in less than 10 minutes. It should take me, like, five minutes, but we want to give ourselves... You don't want to miss the boat, right? That's the worst. That's the worst possibility. I kind of just picked up everything because I knew I was leaving. We actually don't even have to fear her, because, um, I mean, we might fear her, but that's going to die anyways, since we're bailing. We'll still on the third die here. We're gonna be heavy because we have, well, platinum doesn't weigh that much, but we're gonna be heavy because we have so much cash on us. I do need to get rid of something. We'll get rid of that. And disconnect from the server. Oh, I'm just kidding. Totally won't do that. Right? Okay, so that put us right here. So now we can sell. I have a bunch of pages on me that I'm just kind of holding on to. Um, as you can see, I got a full bubble. So I leveled there and got a full bubble. It's going pretty fast now. all we're gonna do I am going to buy the jade earring was it or was it the mithril earring I think it was the mithril earring three seven and it sells for three two yeah do that three times to platinum plat up okay and we are done so we do have a dwarf skeleton here we are just gonna kill it, and we are gonna hope. Oh man! Oh, we're gonna have to hit it again because I can't swing this thing. We're gonna hope we get a bone chip. Oh come on! Yeah. 
There we go. So that was the curveball, but we got a bone chip. We can summon a pet when we get back. <clears throat> so now we're we're hoofing it. Are we? We're not overweight. We're just slow. Would have been dope if one of those druids gave me a so while I was doing that. Totally didn't. But that's okay. It's not their obligation. So we got five minutes still. So we're looking good. But I am gonna bust out, gather shadows. So this is how this is going to go, the test run. We have about four minutes now. So yeah, if you had a sew, you could, <clears throat> if you're a, a class that sews, like if you're a shaman root rotting these, or if you just carried sew pots on you, this, this, you could cut the time down and be away from your camp for even less time. Before we knew about, uh, now, like, a couple years ago, before we knew about the Discord, or maybe the Discord, I don't know how long the Discord's been around, but when we first started the Shaman and the Mage, we didn't know about the Discord at that point, and uh, we, uh, we would wait for the boat to get there, and then we would uh, port back, sell everything as fast as possible, and we would run sewed back to the... Um, but that only leaves you like three minutes. You <laughs> I can't remember if we'd make it like that or not. Um, you'd have to sell so fast the second you saw the boat. But what we started doing was just timing it. Like we know the trip is about like 15 minutes one way. So it's about 30 minute round trip. So we'd be like, all right, at 25 minutes gate. And we'd set timers and stuff like that. So it does look like we are gonna make it. Did we lose our camp? That's you know the real question. That other necro was hanging out, so in all likelihood, we probably did. Well, this guy's been having a having a, a blast over here. I saw him here yesterday. He's killing guards. Oh. I assume they would be dead. But they're not. Maybe just got back. that dead eye at work it's nice having dead eye on the weapon you don't have to cast the invis on yourself ever and just something neat it's nice to be able to see yourself when you're invis not necessary but it's nice All right, so let's see. So let's see here. It says it's already hit Sister's Isle according to the Discord. So it should be popping up here within the next like minute and a half. It gives us time to med, so it's not too bad. Now I don't think Nah, we're gonna have yeah, both spawns are gonna be there by the time we get back. There's no way you could do it without having to split again. We'll have to split again, which isn't a big deal. Of course, unless we lost the camp altogether, then we won't have to split. But let's take a look here. So what did we end up with? We are up to eight hundred and thirty nine platinum. Um, because we are wasting bag space with some stuff like a bunch of words we got four four slots wasted with words there and we have this dagger that i don't know i'm holding on to for no reason so we're wasting five spots which is 60 plat that's an additional 60 plat though to put us at 900 and 10 no to put us at 900 and uh and we got ourselves one bub in I would say probably to fill up my bags, probably get about two bubs. So I'd probably like, if I didn't have words on me and I was filling up my bags and everything, probably two sessions would give me a level, which isn't bad. Two sessions is probably like 
three hours. Not bad. So we're expecting this boat to be showing up any second now. Oh, it's invisible. I see the guy floating there. Or it's loading in right now. Is that what's happening? <laughs> what's going on here? Hmm. What's going on here? I saw that guy zone in. I'm a oh, okay, here it goes. Wow. That was a lot longer than um I imagined. Alright, so we'll get on here. I would like to. I should. Whatever. So there we go. We got it. So I guess um, next up, let's see if we got or lost our spot. Feels unnecessary to leave the recording going, but we're just gonna do it anyways. I guess we'll just roll with it. This might be the end of the video. Nice and short, 20-minute video. We'll see. But if the camp is there, then we'll have a couple more unpauses as I fill up my bags once more and push for level 32 and push for over 1,000 platinum. Um, just to have a nice, you know, couple days here at the island. You could easily, again, like if you were a good class, let me, I want to stress this a little bit, is I did this as a wood elf. You're killing wood elves as a wood elf, but you start so high with your faction that you can kill wood elves for like four or five levels straight and they're still cool with you enough to sell to you and everything um i mean what factions are you losing like how long has it been we're loading now but let me see what factions you're you're losing you're losing like i guess it'd be like way before I, you're losing King Tiris Thex, Fate Arch Champions, Clerics of Tunair, Soldiers of Tunair. So it's not like you're losing like merchants or anything too crazy. You're you're losing like I mean if you're not a cleric, you don't really care what your standing is with the clerics as long as you're not KOS, I guess. Fate Arch Champions, that's uh the Rangers. So maybe you don't really care about the Rangers Guild enough as long as you're not KOS. And soldiers of Tunair. I'm not really. I think. Forget which one that is. Might be like warriors or something. I don't even know. But you can look into it. I was a bard, and so I didn't care about any of that as long as they weren't KOS to me, and as long as they would still sell to me. But I did sit there for like ten levels on my bard, <laughs> and by like the eighth level, I did drop down to where the the vendors on the island wouldn't sell to me anymore. <clears throat> and all I did was just turn in a bunch of muffins. And then I got it back up, and then I continued to kill him. And uh, I was able to never leave the island. And just in between spawns, I would go sell everything. And I just made crap loads of money. It was great. Uh, wait for the flyby. Right, let's see. There was a chance that we stayed long enough to where... Nope, he took it. All right, so that's gonna do it. We lost our spot. Um, let's camp right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and camp. I'm not even gonna camp, I'm going to... Oh shoot, the boat's gone probably. Let me see if I can make the boat. If I can't make the boat, that sucks. Forgot I was invis. We got a diagonal run. Make the boat. 
Oh, we made the boat. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to town. And uh, I'm gonna turn in this plat and um, you know empty my bags and all of that. But we're just gonna go ahead and end it here. I'm gonna look into researching and try to like finagle my researching a bit tonight and see if I can't make some spells and just kind of clear out my bags. Uh, super short episode. This is just an update of what I'm doing on the Necro. Last time you saw me, I was level 30. We finally got out of that th uh, the 30. I've been in like 30 for like three episodes because we were like questing and doing other stuff. But that's how fast you can leave and come back, but that's also how fast you can lose your camp, right? So we saw two aspects of it right there. For the most part, you're not going to lose your camp. That guy was sitting there waiting for me to leave. So... If nobody's sitting there waiting for you to leave, the only way you can really get here is by boat. You can't get ported in. You can't do that. Some people camp there. I camp there. And then I just randomly log in. But for the most part, if you don't see anybody like waiting to pounce on your camp, that's how fast you can bail, sell off, and get back. If you can't sell on the island, there are also dwarves on the island. So if you're a dwarf and you don't care about your, your um, wood elf rep, you can just sell to the dwarves. Um, anyways... Real short, that's what I'll be doing. I'll continue to do that while we play the Monk and we play the Shaman. And um, and hopefully I can get most of this done off of, you know, recording. So that uh, you don't got to see me killing sisters until the end of time. But I, I am probably going to do another level or two there. Uh, because the cache is so good and once I get past there, there's not really any other cache spots for a while. This is kind of like... The last bastion so i'm trying to load up so that i can buy all my research spells for the next you know for the next while i just bought research spells for level 34 and it cost me like 400 gold 400 platinum so it gets expensive um so i just want to load up so that i have enough to buy spells uh for the rest of the leveling process so sorry for that but uh something that we kind of need to do Anyways, I'm going to try to finish that off a of recording so that next time I record, or maybe two times from now, hopefully by the time I get to 34, I for sure won't be here anymore. So rest assured. But I think earlier than that. I think around maybe like, maybe one one or two more levels. 32 or 33, I'm going to bail. So I'm going to try to do that, and uh, so you don't have to see it. Anyways, I'm rambling a ton. See ya!